The Mark 8 Microcomputer, designed by John Titus. Here you see the July 1974 edition of Radio Electronics Magazine. And on the front cover is the Mark 8 Microcomputer. John Titus, <clears throat> a graduate student at Virginia Tech, built this computer, designed and built it while he was a student in 1974 and published the construction article in Radio Electronics on how to build your own personal microcomputer. John is given credit for creating the first home computer. He's received many awards for this fine computer and the one you see here on the cover of Radio Electronics now resides in the Smithsonian Institution. Here you see one of the Mark 8 computers built basically as described in a construction article in Radio Electronics. This computer is in the LCF Group collection managed by David Larson, a colleague of Dr. John Titus who designed this computer. This is one of the finest examples of, a, of one of his computers built beautiful construction. This computer was donated to the historical collection here in Floyd. Here we see the memory card, 4,000 bytes, 4,000 bytes, 4 kilobytes of memory. Isn't that amazing by today's standards? That's all this little computer had was 4,000 bytes. This is a memory card <coughs> taken out of a card rack you see here in the background. Two-sided printed circuit cards. Like I said, the construction of this particular computer was absolutely uh, immaculate construction. The cards communicated with each other over a, a bus system, which was really just a printed circuit card with the bus system etched into it. And you'll see here the bus system for this six card configuration of the Mark 8 microcomputer system. John has been my colleague since the early 70s when we worked in digital electronics together and wrote books and published articles. Well, here's another overall view of the Mark 8 microcomputer built by John Titus or designed by John Titus. This particular computer was not actually built by John Titus. It was put together by one of his admirers who bought the package and put it together. This computer is on display at the, in Floyd, Virginia in the Floyd Professional Center in the Village Green, Suite 8 and 9, part of a small historical microcomputer collection we have there. And uh, the LCF group has an entire historical microcomputer collection consisting of tens of thousands of parts, microcomputers, sales literature, brochures, manuals, and uh, someday we hope to set up the full-fledged digital museum. You can also see more about this computer, read a story about it on uh, my com uh, computerclub.com or microcomputerhistoricalmuseum.com. And as I said, you can see it here at the Floyd Professional Center in Floyd, Virginia. Yeah, the Mark 8 was designed by John in 1974 while he was still a student at Virginia Tech. John had a long and distinguished career early on out of college uh, working with the Blacksburg Group, which I was part of that group. We published about 80 books in digital electronics and microcomputers. John went on to be an editor of a number of popular electronic professional publications. And in 19, even in 19, oh no, in 2004, John helped write this little digital I.O. handbook, a guide for engineers to kind of update on digital electronics. Currently, John and his wife are retired, and they live in Utah near their children and grandchildren. The LCF group has a comprehensive collection of historical microcomputers and artifacts, and our plan is to set up a full-fledged uh, digital and microcomputer museum in Floyd, Virginia. If you'd like to participate, help us or make a donation, contact the LCF group at the Floyd Professional Center in the Village Green, Floyd, Virginia.